Hello and welcome to Color Mode Media Enterprises. My name is Luke, also known as Tianary. And in this tutorial, we are going to be taking a look at drawing basic shapes onto the screen using Link SDL. So, without further ado, let's Hello. get started. So, as mentioned in the introductory video, we are going to take a look at drawing basic shapes and rectangles and a variety of other things onto the game screen. So, if you haven't already, the previous tutorial was a getting started tutorial, getting to know how to create a window and renderer, updating the screen, and a variety of other things as well. So, once you've gone through that with, uh, once you've gone through that tutorial and understand the basics, then we can of course go ahead and go on to drawing some stuff onto the screen. Now I've gone ahead and created this object class here, um, which is going to serve as the main basis for all drawing routines within this uh, tutorial series. So in this object, what I'd like to do is just set a few logical points. So that would be X and Y positions and width and height, right, for the size. So I'm just going to do that real quickly. Um, like this, so they're going to be properties. Um, going to have a y position, so an x and y position, and of course a width and height. So that is going to be an int, that is an int, and height as well. Oops. press escape that probably works as well um, and then what I want to do is I want to have a, another function in here which allows us to draw to the renderer because we need to pass in the renderer so that we can actually draw to something right so, so I'm just gonna have a, a renderer variable here which is going to be the renderer that we want to draw to and so what I want to do is then say SDL, which is obviously a class, and it complains that the type couldn't be found, but don't worry about that, that's Flash developed for you. It's the same reason why I decided to actually start this tutorial using my, uh, pr um, my own program, Simple Edit, but I don't like the fact that I can't make these properties the way I can. But anyway. Uh, so what I'd like to do is I want to set the styling of this particular object. So this sender set render draw color is the it sets the styling for everything that you effectively draw and fill. Right, that's pretty much how that works. So we're going to be using that same function. So set render draw color. I'm going to pass in the renderer of course uh, eventually when this starts responding. Oh, God's sake flash develop why? Thank you. You can see why I don't use it <laughs> often. It's okay with flash develop uh, open FL but for everything else it is so slow. State dot renderer. Uh, no we've already passed in. So Let's set the default color to yellow, let's say. So that's obviously four parameters like that. And then what we've also got is a few other functions. We've got render draw rect and render fill rect. Um, so let's take a look at render draw rect. And that again, pa we have to pass in the renderer. And then we've also got this anonymous structure that we have to pass in a few variables to. So we've got the X position, which is of course going to be whatever our X property is. Uh, now Y position, which again is whatever our Y property is. And then we've also got W, which is basically width, and H, which is height. So that's all you really need to do for that. And I'm going to save that. So now what I'd like to do 
is I'd like to initialize it now. You need to be a bit careful about where you place initialization. Okay, so remember that this is an event loop. So if you want to initialize something, you want to initialize something before the event actually event loop actually starts. So you need to initialize everything before we initiate the event loop. Okay, because once we initiate it, it's then going to, of course, start drawing things onto the screen. So we need to initialize it before we can start drawing. So what I'm, what I'm going to do is I am going to put a private static var obj, which is, of course, going to be our newly created object class. I'm going to initialize it. So that's going to be a new object. And I'm just going to pass in obj.x eventually once it starts working. And let's just place it on 5050 and give it a width and height of 100, shall we? Just for testing purposes. So now what I want to do is over in here, all I'm going to do is just say obj.draw and then pass in the renderer that we want to start rendering that object to, right? So we initialize everything before the update function, right? When we go into the update function, we go through the loop and then we draw that object. First of all, let's build this application. So I'm going to do build.bat, and we are going to take a look at the result. So here we are, we've got this uh, fill a so, rectangle on the screen now. What if we wanted to fill it? Just replace that with that. Let me build it. Oh. Get rid of that first. Build it. Go into our bin folder. So now it is a filled rectangle. Pretty simple, huh? Pretty simple indeed. So, what if we wanted to draw lines? Well, we can do that. So we can do render draw line, which takes. Uh, two x parameters and two y parameters, I believe. I actually can't remember where was it. Move that for the time being. Um, what was it? What am I looking for? I'm looking for test. There we go. <laughs> right. Let's take a look. Draw line, yeah. So we we can do zero zero three three twenty by three twenty, um, which is of course the position that we want to go to. So we could say um, from zero zero to the x and the x position. Y flash develop. Y seriously, if you can't auto complete, just don't try. <laughs> can be kind of annoying so this can be so render draw line um, as you can probably tell it draws a line so let's build that and see how that works so let's take a look and that is in fact the result of that as well so that's a little bit about drawing and I think I'm going to stop here before I decide to go ahead and talk about something that I don't have a clue about. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.